Here's Frank DeLandry. It's in an open D tuning, which is D A D, F sharp A D. But the song's in the key of G, so that's kind of fun. That's a little bit different than usual with open tunings. So it can be played with a slide or without. If you look down in the description, there will be a link to uh, chords and lyrics. There's uh, chord diagrams if you want to have a look at those as well. It can be played in standard tuning. I've done both or open tuning. I kind of like the open tuning. It can be played with a slide like I just did or without. It's, it's easy either way. So I'll show you without the slide. So you see it, I'll show you in the open tuning just so you get the idea. So first and foremost, uh, we have to sort of orient ourselves to the tuning and the chord shape. So G in an open D tuning is the fifth fret. It's a bar across the fifth fret. And I'm doing a Joni Mitchell uh, sort of sus. I'm going from a G to a G sus four and then back to the G. I'm creating a little, a little riff like that. Now you could do it with your finger barred like that, whatever's comfortable. I use my thumb over the top and my first finger, I give the A string a miss, and then I just create this little, almost like an E7, basic E7 shape over top. And then it goes to an E minor 9, which is a bit of a stretch. But I'm leaving the top strings open. So even though I say it's an E minor 9, there's more happening. But we'll just refer to it really as an E minor. And then it goes to a C. And I'm using this first finger as a little melodic note. I can kind of... Have it on, take it off, bring it back on, it gives a little motion. And then D, because uh, it's the five chord, then it's two frets higher. So I could keep the same shape, but what I'm going to do is reach my first finger back to what would have been the B string if we were in standard tuning. And I'm on the third fret there, and I'm going to resolve that to the second fret. So a lot of stretching going on there, but it's pretty cool. So here's the G, G sus4. Now go to the E minor. Fifth fret to the fourth fret. So you see those uh, those passing tones in the chord that color it up a bit. There is a science to it, but really, <laughs> the way you do that is you just move your fingers around and you find something you like, and later you can figure out the science. But for right now, just realize there's nice notes really close, and you just got to be brave and find them and then remember them and do them again. So that's, <laughs> there's the mystery <laughs> of it all. So G to G sus4, and here's the E minor. With the top strings open, and the C, the D, So that's the verse, and you, you sing over top of that, you keep that rhythm going. It's a real chugging rhythm. I don't know what you do if you play fingerstyle. I'm not really sure. If I was going to finger pick it, I might go to standard tuning and play normal chords, but, but I like the chug of the open tuning. It reminds me of, of, a, of a certain kind of um, singer-songwriter sound that I really like. So, so uh, that's what I was working with there. Let's move on to the chorus. So it's a, it's a fairly easy chorus in the sense once you get your uh, your head around the fingerings then it's easy but we're going to descend basically from the 10th fret we're going to descend down the neck of the guitar so 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, a couple of major and minor chords. So the first chord is C major. That's at the 10th fret. Those are all notes at the 10th fret. And I'm going to skip the D string. I'm going to let the back of my second finger mute that string. So that shape is our major chord shape. So that's C. Here's our minor chord shape. I'm at the 9th fret now. Those two fingers are on the 9th fret. I'm going to mute the D string again with the back of my second finger. And then my first finger is going to be on the 8th fret of what would be the G string if we were in standard tuning. So that's a minor chord. So it's a semitone down from C. So that's B minor. And then we're going to go down two steps. Uh, uh, we're going to go down two frets, one whole step, to another minor shape, same shape we just played, that's A minor. And then we're going to go down two more frets, one whole step, to a major, that's our G, with all the open strings ringing. And you can let, let the open strings ring throughout. So you can follow along with the chords and see how those go, but at the end of the chorus it does this cool little climb, and once again we're going to alternate between major and minor shapes. This is a real standard uh, open tuning climb. You can do it in every open tuning that exists for the most part, although saying that there's probably some you can't do it in, but let's not talk about those now. So we're going to go from the open D, then we're going to put what looks like an E7 down on the A string and what would be the G string if we were in standard tuning, but it's the F sharp string because we're in open tuning. And we're going to climb our way all the way up to the 12th fret. So we're going to do this little climb. It's in the tablature. It's a little, um, not in the tablature, it's in the chord diagrams. It's a little confusing to write out. But once you see it, you're, you're on your way. So open, that shape, that shape that is the two fingers on the same fret. That's at the third fret, same strings, A string and what would be the G string. Fifth fret, same shape, both on the same fret. That E7 looking shape. Keep climbing. You hear where we're headed? We're headed to the octave, so we've gone from D to D. So D. All these have names, but it really doesn't matter what they are. But you can guess it's just going up the scale. the end of the chorus, we're back to the verse. Now if you're using your slide through all that chorus bit, it is a bit tricky because there's your C, there's your B minor, but you have to fret behind the slide with your first finger. That's a whole other conversation, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know how that works. There's your A minor. Again, the first finger is fretting behind the slide to make it a minor. There's the major. There's the minor. And there's the major. And then... This is kind of cool. As you climb up, if you're using the slide... You can use it here. Frank DeLandry.